Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for December 10th to December 16th, 2018. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I uh, want to remind you once again that this is just a, a general reading for Pisces star sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But uh, at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, uh, if you want me to do that for you, just like I'm doing for the examples I'm giving in this video, uh, then that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing and uh, as uh, this is the uh, summer uh, not summer excuse me I was just carried on with uh, with these cards um, wow now if this is not a, an invitation for a relationship I don't know what that is seriously it's just but we are gonna go into that a little bit later so um, yeah I was about to say that as Christmas is approaching you know my uh, the prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes live reading with me are reduced so if you want to um, take advantage of that just go to my website you know and you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing anyway uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, I usually don't interpret the, the core cards in a, a general reading as people, but look at that, man. I mean, we have the Knight of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles with the uh, Lover's card. Now, that is a, a very persistent suitor here that we do have on our hands. Uh, either a woman or a man, it doesn't really matter here. For what it seems, the topic is going to be how that person is trying to uh, please you in any way they can. And that will be the next card here. This is a, a person, now the whole topic is connected with a person, second conformation, that is to be the, the king of swords here, right? And uh, what we do have on our hands, it is someone from, um, with a, a great authority, or should I say a great power. Now that is a, someone who does not take no for an answer, but they are not abusive at all. It is just every time that you say no to them, either for a business venture, or in this case, I do believe that this is strongly about relationship connection, all right? But it could be as well for business. So uh, every time you say no, they come back even more and more tenacious, but not in a bruising manner. Now, if we did have here the Knight of Swords, then it's something that you should be wary of, all right? So these are people who are kind of ruthless. King of Swords, Knight of Swords, uh, a combination. Now, these are people who are dangerous at some point. But now what we do have here is that the more more you deny that person they are taking it as a challenge all right they're taking it like oh my god i i really need to put the uh, the toils behind it so i can be with that woman or with that guy and they come back even even more determined determined to do so now that is if we're talking about relationship here now what you need to know with the king of swords and the knights of cups here in that specific combo is that they develop uh, that passion they develop uh, that sense of being with someone through physical connection so um how can I place it? They are enthralled by your presence, not by your emotional state. They will fall in love if you want them to fall in love with you uh, through uh, having sex, not through spending just time and dating, all right? They, they just need that uh, physical touch to take place so they can uh, they can truly you know let their emotions to fly. But if this is about the business venture of what we do have here, then that is someone who is determined to work a lot, 
all right and throughout this week as a topic we uh, we have you and that person as well are uh, kind of like defining the boundaries or rather the uh, the plan of how the things are to move on forward into one career as you need to know that that person is fully determined to give everything they have in order to make the things work and it is very important however for you not to be slinky and uh, as well uh, with a uh, back thoughts in your mind because the very negative side of that person here is, is that they are very retributional all right so they they will um, kind of like uh, avenge themselves if you screw them over so uh, it is it will be it, they will take an honorable no very well all right but they will not handle betrayal very well just so you know and then you are to see their dark side where they put all the passion they have so they can make a retribution on you so if you don't have if you don't want to have anything to do with them uh, that is entirely your choice but confront them and tell them no you know i i just don't want to have anything to do with you but if you do it in a very bad way you need to know that they are going to come back with a repayment and the core of the situation here the knights of pentacles it is just a another version of these cards now what we see here is is that that person saw you out of many options available that they have as the most worthy one right and that is a, a big deal because for what it seems here that person itself it's kind of like a, a very picky if I may express myself uh, that way. And they do have the background to be picky, all right? I mean, um, as I said, they do have a lot of options available. It could not be you. It could be uh, your girlfriend, for example, or it could be your colleague. But they chose you among many. And that should speak a lot um, <clears throat> for you. And uh, also, it, it's going to speak... Uh, a lot for your performance in general what is important here to be acknowledged all right it is that this person itself it is willing to make the necessary changes in order to make the things work that is uh, basically this is what these cards are pointing I mean I could stretch that reading um, uh, for the entire evening here but they will be uh, they will be willing to make uh, those kind of like I said necessary changes those adaptations if I may express myself that way even though we are finding them very unyielding here and kind of like a very uh, it's the, the word is not stubborn but let's say that they hang on into their uh, standard of life into the way that they do things and they don't make compromises but in that case with you Pisces they are to make a compromise all right either business wise friendship wise or a relationship wise so if you are searching for a relationship you don't have to search very far I mean the only thing that you need to do is just look around yourself and again uh, because you do have that potential here and because you do have that option available that doesn't mean that you have to take it I mean if you don't like that person at all you just simply can say no and uh, that, that will be the end of it I mean I mean they're going to return back again and again but they won't be bruisey but if you play them around you know and you take advantage of their emotions and of their drive and you just use them well then you are to have a retribution so you need to be uh, very careful about that so the next card that we do have for you that is going to be the challenges which are causing predicaments and as I said the choice is going to be yours that is going to be the difficulty here with the lovers card we are sitting on a choice and it's kind of it's going to be very balanced you know you are going to see the pros and the cons from that venture for that affair if you want to say it that way from that project and etc etc and uh, the problem is going to be here is that you will be unable to see the end of it so um, you will not know how far this is gonna go and uh, for some of you Pisces that is to be very frightening for example you will not know how how serious a potential relationship can become all right and maybe because you don't know much of that person here or you know that they are quite um, authoritarian ones, so they have connections, you know, they have positions, and etc., etc. Uh, you may 
kind of like um, not realize but let's say presume that it's going to be very difficult for you to break that relationship should you find it unsuitable further into the future so the whole um, the whole process of you definitively deciding what to do from now on should you take that opportunity or should you not take that opportunity uh, will be the predicament for you now with the lovers card having it with the seven of cups there is no right or wrong choice I mean the lovers card on its own says that there is no right or wrong choice and in addition with the seven of cups it does mean that your uh, how can I place it Mm. the lack of perceptance uh, perception excuse me that you are going to have about how far that agenda or how far that enterprise can go uh, itself is going to push you even further to make that choice <clears throat> or to make the choice obvious uh, for you now uh, what is important here to be acknowledged is first thing that you need to be grounded whenever you make that choice you should exclude your emotional state you should you should not make it out of um, emotional standpoint but rather of a um, mental standpoint so first thing that you need to think about when it comes to choosing here it is what you want do you want to be in a relationship or not? Do you want to have a business partner or you don't want to have a business partner, all right? Do you want to uh, have harmony or do you not want to have harmony but in the same time you want to fulfill something else? My, well, my point here, guys, is with the lover's card is that the choice will also will have their pros and their cons. I mean, usually with the lover's card, the choice is what you want to do against what you, what you have to do, all right? And either way is going to suit you to a certain extent and is going to give you consequences to a certain extent and it's basically what you need to do here is being accountable to oneself now uh, another thing I want to mention here is that as much as you stall uh, uh, stalling that choice of being made the more disappointment you are going to have afterwards I mean stalling stalling the situation is not going to make it more clear for you but obtaining being grounded and being uh, logical about your situation right now that you are finding yourself with this person all right um, <clears throat> the more accurate the decision is going to be for yourself if that makes sense but uh, what is the virtue of uh, you making that decision is going to be uh, being harmonious with uh, with yourself so, uh, in other words, all the way, uh, everything that I see here is, is that you need to decide in favor of what you want to do, all right, uh, against what you have to do. And at that specific point, we are going to the last card here that we do have. This is the High Priestess, the Guidance of the tarot and the high priestess on its own it's saying that with the moon card here just look at that i mean these cards are speaking on their own on their own this is a, another confirmation that as uh, no matter how much you try to um explain for yourself where this is going for or why this is happening that is shed into uh, into mist that is shed into um into darkness because you are pisces not supposed to know for if you know you can alter the outcome and that way you are to avoid a, a very uh essential um event that is to happen or a, a point very important point that you need to reach that has a lot to do with your calling so what we're talking about here is your calling that person is going to play a, a big role for you for uh, accomplishing the uh, the reason or kind of like you know accomplishing yeah, your calling or being on the right path if I may express myself that way furthermore the uh, these cards are pointing that you should not try to analyze your emotions as we said here with the lover's card right everything that you need to know is uh, like uh, you will make difference or kind of like you are important to somebody and that is the only thing that matters 
now with the high priestess the emotional uh, connection is much deeper than just love or, or or emotional satisfaction what we do have with the high priestess is the very bondage of souls which goes further down um, uh, further deeper than the as i said than the love so how you can scope that uh, literally it is that if you if you are finding peace spending time with that person if you are feeling kind of like confident when you are when you are around them if you are feeling secure as well and if you are feeling in generally that things are working out well, that will be a clear sign that this is the thing that you need to invest in that relationship, that business part uh, partnership, or that friendship as well. And yet, as I said, you should not seek uh, kind of like a, an explanation for everything that is happening to you. For example, why you are enthralling them, you know, or why they have chose you, or what is to happen after that, and etc., etc. It is not even going with the flow here, but giving yourself fully into the hands of the universe, because here what we do have as a guidance is that the universe has a plan for you guys, and this plan starts now with that person. And it's up to you to give yourself to that plan completely or to struggle against it. All will come to deciding here with the lover's card. And again, there won't be any right or wrong decision, as I said. But you just need to be true to your, um, if I may say it that way, logic and harmony. So you logically need to choose what is more harmonious for you. So that being said, Pisces, this was your tarot reading for uh, December 10th to December 16, 2018. Now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and they are to show us a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or um, try to avoid. So let's see. Now the first card that we do have, this is going to be the lilies and the lilies are associated with... Um, material gains they are associated as well with sex elders um, family and etc etc then what we do have here is the letter so the letter is associated with email written text invitation and what we do have afterwards look at that we do have the gentleman so the gentleman is associated with male so gentlemen Pisces that you are watching this this is going to be an invitation for lucrative business project ladies that will be most likely if not an invitation for a lucrative business project that is going to be an invitation for sex simply as that and most likely you are going to get it in a certain way through an email or written text via messenger for example and etc etc just like we said here guys this man wants or this person wants a, a physical connection this is how they basically establish foundation of future relationships as i said it has to start from somewhere all right but as soon as you allow them to do so well kind of like as soon as you dive into it it does look like that they're going to be very devoted so um yeah, but pretty much uh, single ladies, it does look like that this time you are hitting a jackpot here. And uh, with that being said, that concludes the reading. Again, this was just a general reading for Pisces star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that will be just like I did here in the examples of this video. That will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing and if you do so um, don't forget about the Christmas deal that uh, reduces the prices of the 20 and the 30 minutes live tarot reading with me that being said Rod signing out now see you next time bye